Hey everybody, this is Miss Doak, and we are in Module 5, Lesson 14, okay? Um, so this is due December 4th. Um, so this is kind of a tricky assignment just because it's not necessarily going to be an essay, okay? It's not like a normal essay that you just type into Microsoft Word or anything like that. This is your opportunity to actually use all of the knowledge that you have about ads and advertisements um, and actually try to see if you can create an advertisement, okay? This is your time to pitch your product, <laughs> all right? So, um, just ignore this because you don't need to... <laughs> I've put this video down here though, presenting a sales pitch video, and it's not necessarily exactly what we're doing, but it's a really cool video just to think about how professionals actually prepare for sales pitches. So that might help you um, kind of get your thoughts together. All right, so um, your presentation should have an introduction with a thesis statement, effectively sell your product. So basically you can choose whatever product you want to sell. It can be a real product um, and you can just try to sell it to us. Use visual aids to help persuade the audience. So that means add pictures and you know if you want to draw a picture and take a picture of that and um, upload it that's totally fine. Um, have a delivery that connects with the audience. So you're actually going to video yourself and import it, upload it into your PowerPoint, okay? So you're going to use like your smartphone or your mom's smartphone or your dad's smartphone, whoever's phone or tablet or um, camera on your computer, whatever you have. Take a video of yourself giving the sales pitch, okay? Use eye contact, expression, um, correct style, tone of voice, and gestures, um, and use these questions to help you as you're kind of preparing, okay? Um, use a attention grabber, you know, um, clearly state why we should want your product and why we need your product. Um, have your conclusion in there at the end, and, you know, try to speak in a conversation style. That might be kind of tricky because you're not really talking to me and I can't respond, but try your best to kind of make it seem like a conversation. If you want, you could have someone in the conversation with you as a, you know, just um, someone random like your family member. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so basically, um, include an engaging opening. Make sure I know your topic and your reasons and your thesis. Um, have body paragraphs, but you don't actually have to write it necessarily. You're, you're trying to just explain to me your main ideas. And then conclude your whole presentation like you would have a conclusion. You definitely can write out an essay and try to um, memorize it as much as possible as you are um, giving the presentation. Include text and visuals. Maybe you have a poster and you're just going to show me the poster in your video. Maybe you um, um, upload it into your PowerPoint. That's totally fine. Um, speak clearly and slow enough. <laughs> um, use gestures and try to keep your um, audience interested and um, use vocabulary words from the module and try to use correct spelling. So what I would do is I would open up PowerPoint or like we said before you can use Google Slides and um, I would just say this is your um, pitch your product okay then you can put your name all right, and I would just add a slide, and remember, you can insert um, your video, okay? You can do a video from your PC. It'll just pull up whatever video you have. You can insert it right there. Um, you can also do 
audio on some of the other slides, that would definitely be a great way to keep this oral presentation going. Like even at the beginning, if you wanted to do your intro right there, you can just add your audio, remember? Just hit the record button and it will insert it into your slide. Um, whatever you want to do to try to make this oral presentation a success would be totally fine. Um, pictures are welcome and um, that would be awesome. So just remember, this is due December 4th. It's module four lesson, I mean module five, lesson 14. And um, if you have any questions, you know, just definitely make sure you go through your rubric and um, ask me for help. Good luck, guys.